will build a monument to the proudest resource of this great city. It's citizens who desire to overcome poverty by sharpening their knowledge and skills for their own sake and for the sake of their families through affordable but top quality education. With these words, Mayor Edgardo D. Pamintuan articulated one of the terms of his covenant with the Angelenos to bring back the honor and dignity of Angeles City it once enjoyed, a primus inter pares among local governments in central Luzon, and a city respected nationally for its cultural diversity, historical heritage, and creative people. In favorable proximity to the Clark Freeport Zone, Angeles City and its burgeoning young population should have been the primary source of skilled and able workers for the locators and investors inside the economic hub. Sadly, many were held back by the lack of adequate training that only the more privileged could afford. A former human rights lawyer, Mayor Pamintuan decried this inequality and with an unwavering determination, he certified as urgent the ordinance creating the City College of Angeles. It was a happy happenstance. Mayor Pamintuan's son and namesake Edgardo Jr. was appointed in the city legislature as chairman of the Committee on Education. The young Edu shepherded the ordinance with finesse so rarely seen in a neophyte city councilor. With the support of his fellow members of the city council, headed by Vice Mayor Vicky Vega Cabigting, Maricel Morales, Alex Indiongo, Jericho Aguas, Will Rivera, Dan Lacson, Pog Sulier, Jay Sangil, Alfie Bonifacio, Brian Nepomuceno, Jojo Dimapilis, and JC Pamintuan, Ordinance 294 was finally approved. Even then, the journey towards the realization of the community academy was delicate and tortuous. Many constraints had to be hurdled, but with resolute priorities in place, the partnership between the mayor and the Sangguniang Panlusod overcame every barrier, and the vision became more tangible with each passing day. On January 24, 2012, Mayor Pamintuan and Vice Mayor Vicky Vega Cabigting led the Sangguniang Panlunsod in the blessing of the college grounds and the symbolic laying of the ceremonial time capsule at Barangay Pampang, even as construction was in full swing. Responsive to market demands, the initial diploma and certificate courses will be attuned to the immediate needs of the Clark Freeport Zone and other employers in the city, thus assuring a better chance at employment. More importantly, as productive members of the community, their sense of dignity is reinforced. In a city boasting scores of universities, colleges, training centers, and other higher academic institutions, Angelenos know quite well how valuable a diploma is to the future of their youth. The City College of Angeles will now stand tall among them, a molder of minds and muscle and a testament to the will of many that never shall the poor be deprived of a quality education. Rather, with persistence and diligence, they may one day achieve total human development. Totalis Humanae.